you. What do you mean? You don't know you've been involved in an axe murder. What happened? Oh, I got knocked out by these guys who kidnapped this woman. Well, you should lie down. I can't. I gotta go to work. I just came back to change my shirt and my clothes. What woman? I don't know. I just met her. Well, where'd you meet her? I met her on a bus. What were you doing on the bus? It was the subway. It was on strike. What were you doing on the subway in the first place? Because I lost the key to Pippin's car that I borrowed last night. I know. How do you know? Because I hit them. You what? Well, I'm leaving for Italy tomorrow, and I thought it would be funny to leave with you hunting around looking for them, so I hit them. But I was going to tell you later this week. Why don't you do something really funny? You know, like maybe push a handicapped kid down a stairwell with his wheelchair? You started this. I did not. You pretended to be a doctor and called my work and left a message saying that I was positive for a venereal disease. Yes, you did. You started it. <sighs> yeah, I guess I did. So how are you? Coping with that. I am late for work. Goodbye. Ascending to travel. Ascending to travel? I'd like to cancel a reservation. Cancelled my trip. How'd you find out? You left the itinerary on the kitchen table, so I knew you were up to something, and I called them, and they told me I was cancelled. You should be a detective. Yes. Well, thank you. Did you book it again? No. No, I didn't, because it was full, and somebody else took my spot. Hmm. I'm sorry. But you did deserve it. You know, it's OK. I made myself feel better. I actually feel great now. You know, I needed something to do to take my mind off the anger, so I made you that soup. What's in the soup? Wouldn't you like to know? Yes, I would, so I can seek the proper medical attention. <laughs> I want to thank you for cancelling that trip, Eddie, because since I'm not going to be in Italy for the spa week, I have got myself a huge, huge, huge modelling contract. And had I been on that plane, I would never have got the call. And that is what I call a good old-fashioned backfire. So there's nothing in the soup? Oh, there's something in the soup. Okay, what is in the soup, Fiona? Love. I mean, because, love because I'm happy about the... The, the contract? Mm. Yeah. Sure. It's very good. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Little slicer in it. Nice work on the car. Oh, you think that's funny? Did anybody get hurt? No, thank God. Then it's funny. Well, I happen to find litigation funny. Litigation? Yeah, I'm suing you. You're suing me? For damages. Should make you feel right at home, America being such a litigious society. What have I got to do that, if anything, you should sue the makeup company who made that compact that you were looking at whenever you oh. hit whatever it was you hit? Something hit me, okay? A garbage truck hit me, my car, when I was doing my modeling shoot. So sue them. It was my fault. I was in a parking restricted area. I am responsible. Well, then you're going to have to sue yourself, and you better get a good lawyer, because let me tell you, you're going up against a real... Don't you dare! This is entirely your fault. If I had been in Italy at the spa week, the trip that you cancelled, this would never, ever have happened. I am suing you for damages. So how much is this going to cost, Ms. Hide the Keys? About 20 quid less than I made at the shoot today. Great. Then you can pay for my dinner tonight. We're even no harm done. Remember, the only reason you got that modeling trip is because I canceled your trip in the first place. Eddie, give it. Eddie, taketh away. Wait. It's yours. Go ahead. Do not eat anything in the flat ever again if you know what's good for you. All right. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I think so. What are you looking at? You're on a red bus. Yeah, I have no car, remember? What's wrong? Nothing. 